how does OpenAI business model work? How does it make money? And how the partnership with Microsoft as well fit into this business model? Let me explain. Now, if you know a little bit of the history of OpenAI, actually, this is a former research lab which turned into uh, actually an organization. And uh, the interesting part is, uh, you know, the, the research lab right now is not uh, any longer just a foundation, it's organized in a hybrid structure where you get uh, an OpenAI Inc., which is a single member Delaware LLC, which is controlled by the OpenAI Foundation, and the board, which is acting as general partner, therefore controlling and making all decision for DLP. Now, the interesting part, and let me, uh, let's go through it uh, together so that you understand all the pieces here, is that right now, uh, OpenAI, again, is monetized primarily through, uh, actually, its APIs. Now, to understand a little bit of what's going on, you need to understand a little bit of historic context for OpenAI. OpenAI, as I said, it was started as a research lab in 2015-16, uh, and then later on in 2019, it transitioned to become a, a sort of for-profit capped organization. Now, going forward to that year, and especially in 2020, and uh, as a GPT-3 uh, was released, actually, OpenAI also released its open APIs, meaning that it has a set of APIs endpoints that anyone can access as a business and start using to integrate uh, OpenAI uh, foundational models like GPT-3 or DALI into their applications. You know, this is the foundational layer of AI because from here you can tap into those very powerful general purpose engines that you can use into your organization. Now, one way then that OpenAI makes money is through the application layer or the APIs. Now, the APIs, as you can imagine, are, again, as I said, are the foundational, foundational layer, meaning those provide the large generative models that anyone can, can plug into. Now, imagine the case that you are a middle layer player, meaning that you are a specialized company that is trying to build an AI engine, like let's say an AI lawyer or an AI accountant, which uh, you know is gonna tap into the open AI APIs. In this case, what is gonna happen is that you're gonna get the APIs from OpenAI to get a generalized engine like GPT-3, and then you're gonna customize it on top of the data that you have, for instance, or with additional workflow so that you can create a specialized engine. And each time that you're calling those APIs, and each time that you're fine tuning on top of um, GPT-3 or DALI, you're actually paying a consum consumption fee to OpenAI. That's how OpenAI is making money. Same happens for another uh, layer, like the application layer. Let's say that you want to build an app for the iPhone, which produces avatars uh, on, the, on the iPhone, which is actually many apps that have uh, sparred in the last period. You're gonna use the uh, DALI or you know the API keys from OpenAI to actually do this app. And of course, again, also here, you're gonna be paying based on consumption. This is one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is actually ChatGPT. This was released in November of this year and was a turning point. Why was it a turning point? Well, because until November of 2022, uh, OpenAI primarily operated as actually an API access company where it was making money and actually enabling the use of its engines through those APIs. Now with ChatGPT, anyone can use the tool. So it potentially goes from B2B and uh, uh, enterprise to actually a consumer product which is ready to be used by anyone. Of course, there is a free version of ChatGPT and so far it's all we got, but apparently the company seems to be working also on a premium version. So it might be that in the future, ChatGPT may work as a free and premium, so so-called freemium. This may be a model uh, on top of which ChatGPT might be built upon in terms of monetization and a little bit of business modeling in the coming you know, months. The other piece of the puzzle is the OpenAI Microsoft partnership. Now to understand that, you need to understand that uh, Microsoft is uh, among the main uh, limited partners within OpenAI LP after it put a billion into the partnership in 2019 and it has also exclusive commercial partnership with OpenAI to distribute its products. Now, how does the partnership with uh, Microsoft uh, work? 
quite straightforward. Now, uh, as I said before, the partnership works uh, in a way that OpenAI and Microsoft are partnering up in various ways. First of all, through Microsoft Azure. Azure is really the foundation, the supercomputer, the AI supercomputer, which is enabling OpenAI to pre-train its generative models like GPT-3 and DALI. And Azure is also the place where the APIs of OpenAI are getting distributed behind its website. So you can get the APIs from directly from OpenAI, or you are gonna get them as an interface through the Azure Enterprise Platform. Indeed, right now, all the products that have been released by OpenAI are already integrated within the Azure Enterprise Platform. So Microsoft is gonna make money from it through those APIs and plus if you build an application on top of Azure and you're going to host it there, Microsoft is going to make money through the cloud service. On the other side, the way this works is that OpenAI and Microsoft have a commercial partnership to actually distribute those products and also integrate them into Microsoft. One example of a new product which was a result of uh, the partnership between OpenAI and Microsoft is uh, GitHub Copilot. And then on the other side, Microsoft is also looking into ways to integrate, you know, uh, OpenAI products within its own products like Bing, Office, and so forth. Another argument and speculation that I make here is that OpenAI and, uh, you know, generative models and the, those very powerful language models and uh, uh, generative models can be also used in the future as a way to be plugged into AR and VR as an additional real-time engine that can help those uh, ecosystem gets uh, get much better. So this is the way the whole business model of OpenAI works and how things are all integrated in this manner.